Hello, I've I've uh, been working on this shot. It's one of the very last shots I have to finish for the first episode of of Dynamo Dream. I'm I'm really really trying to get a uh, final picture edit lock by uh, by the first, so I can send that off to the sound team. That seems like a good deadline to me. So I'm sorry that I haven't been posting quite as much. I'm just really pushing hard on on that. Woo! It's a it's a fun scene. Um, I, though it renders, it takes a while to render in cycles because I have all these mist layers everywhere, which um, it just means the light paths have to bounce around a little bit too much, and so that's that's a little bit of a bummer. But uh, Nate Taylor, my friend, did the the uh, the animation on the crab and the and the rigging in that, um, which is very cool. And uh, the rest of the guys are all little Rococo animated dudes. Those those photo scans I put out a while ago. I really need to make more of them. I've got a couple new ones in here, but uh, I should just do a whole new a whole new batch because these guys are becoming fairly overused at, at this point um, but yeah this is this is the third stage of the the crab story the first time is when uh, we're in the diner and we see that there's a crab that was uh, right raiding a truck out on the freeway and then the second time is when we see it in a gladiatorial combat with a giant robot and steals the robot sword and so this is kind of a, the little conclusion I like like the idea of having just a, a little background story going on but as you look at this, I'm sure there's one thing which immediately catches your eye, and that is, of course, the railings. Uh, I have had to make so many railings for, for this stupid episode, and um, I used to kind of hate it, but now... I kind of kind of enjoy it and so I want to show you some some tricks so there's there's multiple levels of detail you can you can be modeling at there's there's something that works for close-ups and then there's uh, something that works for you know kind of medium wider shots and I mean you could probably subdivide it but uh, and if you're gonna do a close-up you gotta you gotta give it some love I just saw uh, soul the other day and oh they have the most intricate beautiful wrought iron stuff they they really cared in that movie and uh, we're not gonna really care we just want some some railings so uh, this is a lot of stuff we've talked about before but let's let's get into it so a lot of what we're going to be doing is involving point beveling, and everybody knows beveling. If you hit Control B, you can bevel a uh, bevel an edge here, and you can hit P to change the profile. Scroll up, add more points and down, and, and do all of that fun stuff. And you can do the exact same thing on a, on a single point. If you hit Control Shift B, look there, there we go. You can just bevel off the corner there, which is nifty. And you can do the same thing if it's in the middle, if it's like just in the middle of a face like this. Pow, and that's because it's still beveling. It's just there's no, it's not splitting the difference because everything's flush, you know. Uh, but if you add more points and make the profile round, woo, you can make a little a little hole, which is which is kind of nifty. So we're going to be using that combined with the wireframe modifier. And the way, so the way I used to do this was uh, so lazy. I would add a couple vertical posts, another like horizontal one. I would maybe extrude this out to be a more defined railing. Go into the modifiers, add a wireframe modifier, and be like, look at that, that's a railing, right? That's what railings are like. And it, it works from an extreme distance, but it, that's, we didn't give it any love whatsoever. And so, uh, let's try to get a little bit more raw iron, you know? Uh, so, gonna do the exact same thing I mean effectively we are doing the exact same thing but scroll this out a little bit and uh, let's see let's let's add some circles up at the top so I'm just gonna add a bunch of edge loops here and then uh, one going through here with all of those selected I'm gonna go to select and checker deselect which just basically selects every other point which is so handy for not having to go through and select every other point. Save so much time. And so with that there, we can do our Control Shift B trick. Look at that, we got all of our, our circles. And um, I'm gonna apply that and hit X, dissolve faces, and uh, and there we go. Here, let's let's apply a little wireframe modifier on here. And that that already that looks that looks much better than than anything we'd had so far. And in fact, let's let's see what happens if we like. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do this. Select, check or deselect. Let's just add a couple diamonds here. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. What else? What else can we do? Let's do something kind of similar. I'm going to link Control L the modifiers from that one. This gives us the, the edge here. And let's try doing um, some nice big 
ornamental circles right here down around the the bottom. So yeah, turn that up. Let's add a couple more points. Yeah, that'll be that'll be cool. And then hmm, maybe I'll select all of these and all of these. I don't know how this is gonna look, but Control Shift B. That's kind of that's kind of nifty, huh? That could be that could be interesting. Oh yeah, that's nice and ornate. Okay, and if you end up in a case like this where it looks like they're kind of like jabbing out like this, that just means you have points too close to each other and it's throwing off the, the wireframe and all of that. And we can fix that pretty easily just by going F3, merge by distance, and just open up this and slide it up until a bunch of them disappear. There we go. Remove 64 vertices and that's gonna fix it. Uh, these ones on the end are kind of funky, but we might not like those anyway, so I might just uh, get rid of those and doop. Yes. Yeah, uh, you figure out a way to tile it. Uh, what else? What else do we got? I don't, I've just really been enjoying, I mean, you can always do a, a triangulate type thing as well, uh, where you come up with, you know, you got your your gate. Whoa. Uh-oh. My mouse hotkey to select all linked isn't working. That's weird. Um, but if we select all of these faces here, and we go F3 triangulate, it'll give you a nice kind of diagonal thing like this. And maybe we can extrude this up and woo, back over and... I don't know, I'm just trying to think of what would make kind of interesting interesting patterns here. Uh, you can do the same for um, like wrought iron window coverings because uh, if you got like a window on the street level in a city, you don't want people just hopping through your window all the time and so you have to put up uh, a grill, which makes it look like you live in, in prison. Um, so let's let's see how how maybe we could do do something like, like that. And honestly, this is where I should look at reference. This might not actually work out all that well but let's see we wanted to go back in we wanted to go back up i'll add mm, can i hide these i think i will hide these add a couple edge loops here like that and let's add a couple diamonds Control shift b cool Ooh, and I could do something like inset all of these, and it's probably going to look too too detailed, but it might also kind of come up with a cool cool effect here. So uh, let's see, Alt H, double these, Woo. and if we link those modifiers, there we go. You just stick that over a window or something. And for all of these, you know, you just you don't even have to. You can be as detailed as you want, but I would just kind of make it dark and maybe turn up the roughness just a little bit. You've got a nice cast iron type type look. Woo! Yeah, I like this one. I like this look honestly because you can get this really this really ornate feeling really quick. Um, what would you bevel the bevel? Ooh, we start to get. Some fun stuff, yeah. So, any, anyways, uh, that's just that's just a thought for ways to make kind of cool, ornate type stuff really quick. All right, 